I had a lap rider crashed on the first lap or something, so I had someone in front of me, so that kind of kind of got me pushing as well. Um, but the whole race, I made a lot of mistakes, but I think I, I did well when it counted, which was at the beginning. And then you kind of get into lappers, and hopefully they start playing in your favor, which they did, and everyone was really cool tonight with uh, getting out of the way with how small the track was. So really, the, the season's been so up and down as far as uh, results. Um, had a lot of mistakes on my part during main events and stuff like that, and a few mechanicals here and there, and it just, you don't know what to, uh, what to expect. So to win here in Vegas the last round, it, it really just kind of boosts everything for, for 20, 2016. Um, I'm kind of in the process of working on things, and you know, hopefully this helps with uh, as far as rides go and everything like that. So can't be more grateful for how the whole, the whole night went. Shane and I showed up, unloaded the bike, she checked the air pressure, and uh, we raced all night, didn't change anything. Are so didn't touch gearing, I didn't touch anything. I mean, I didn't put tear offs on all day. So it, the only thing that's comparable is, uh, is Daytona short track. I, I showed up with my dad and Shana and somehow we won the main event tonight. You know, it was kind of like every time, every time we were on track, uh, it was, uh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> come on, come on. Um, it was, you know, every time we were on track, I was confident, which I haven't had a lot this year. So for her and I to show up in Vegas the last round and, and kind of just, do it together um, really means a lot to me. Uh, you mentioned you, you had some ups and downs this year. Obviously, you, you made some strides this year. Um, this was one of your better years. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about how you're going to build off that and uh, carry this momentum into the offseason and uh, what, what's going to be in store for you next year? I, what I've learned the most over uh, my career is how much confidence in uh, AMA Pro Flat Track. You know, you're going up against the best guys in the world. Um, and there were times when I knew that I belonged up front, and there were times when I didn't. And that, you know, that shows. You go out and you could be running fifth, and which I had been at certain times, and, and get a bad start. Where someone like Jared, you know, he knows where he belongs, and and you don't ever see him really get a bad start. So. We we good. All right. good. All right. So yeah, no. Um, the older I get, the more I learn, and I think you know just the confidence going to do, uh, you know Daytona or wherever we race next year. Um, this is really big for us. Um, I, like I said, the ups and downs had a few podiums, had a lot of mistakes where you know running well and you know cost me big, and it's just stuff that you know it's taken me a while to learn. Where Joe and, and Jared have done it for you know quite a few years, they they know how to rebound and and how to make those mistakes go away. So. You know, my goal is to, to some, you know, someday be like, you know, Jared and Joe, where there aren't really tracks where they struggle. I mean, you, you can think of uh, any racetrack on the series, and, and you can't tell me when Jared wasn't at least, you know, top five fast all day. You know, so I'm just trying to build in my person. Hopefully, I can continue to do that and uh, and end up where he's at, holding the, the number one and and make a make a name for myself. Thank you. Joe, we'll move to you. Second place tonight. What were your expectations going into this race? Obviously, the best performance for you this year. Yeah. yeah, the only time I was out here with these guys this year, so it was definitely my best performance. Uh, you know, I wanted to come in. I kind of wanted to race the Prestigio tomorrow night, and so I knew you had to win it to move on, you know, so that was kind of my goal. But realistically, uh, you know, I knew it was a long, long shot. But uh, the best thing about my racing right now is I come here to have fun, and it, it really sh shows on my end, you know, my results. I can tell just a local race or whatever, it's it's no more. I'm not racing for a paycheck anymore, you know, I'm not making a living doing this. I'm out here to have fun, and that's uh, that's usually when you're doing, you're riding your best, you know, is when you're having fun. So second place, hey, I was super happy. I seen Briar up there making a few mistakes here and there. Kept thinking, hopefully this 20-year-old kid's going to make some big mistakes here pretty quick, and I can inch up on him, but he rode a hell of a good smooth race up there and uh, just could never quite inch up on him I guess. Uh, it, it was <laughs> it's, it's awesome you know um, I said this last year you know that that one meant the mo most to me then but this one here feels like it means the most to me now you know they just get sweeter and sweeter but um, you know, it was uh, pressure coming in a little bit, you know, of, of course, just, to, you know, 
just because it's a short track, just kind of like what happened with Brian, that was my biggest fear, kind of like beating yourself almost. Um, I've run a lot of these little indoor ice races and, and concrete races and lots of indoor stuff, so I was really familiar with the side of the bad luck. I mean, you know, I've been there where uh, the fastest guy's sitting on the bumper watching the truck, so, um, or watching the race on the truck. But uh, anyway, um, you know, got, got it done, and uh, I have a great team behind me that, that makes it happen, and you know, we were very consistent every race. Um, it's a shame we only won one this year, but uh, the consistency paid off. And, uh, you know, we got it done. I, I was really looking forward to going out there and trying to win this race. But, man, um, Briar split so quick, and then Joe got underneath me, and um, I was just trying to play catch-up ball real quick. But, uh, you know, hats off to these guys. Uh, you know, honestly, I I think it's really cool that Joe came out at 47 years old and got second place. It gives me, like, an, a lot of ambition to keep myself in physical shape when I get older uh, because, I mean, he, he did it. You know, he keeps himself in good shape and comes out every once in a while and makes it happen. So uh, hats off to these guys. It's just cool to see Briar get his win here and, and Joe. It's just uh, probably not what everybody really would have expected to see up here, but uh, a lot of fun. And uh, you and Brian, uh, over the Oh, you know, Brian's a, a good competitor, and, uh, you know, deep down, he's a good friend. And, um, yeah, you know, it's a rivalry there, of course, just because we're all going for the same thing. And, uh, you know, we come out, you know, we're about 25 minutes from each other, so we share a lot of the same friends, and we meet up a lot of times, you know, on functions to go riding and stuff. So, you know, definitely this season with a lot of things, there was a little bit of animosity there with, uh, with it all. But at the end of the day, when the dust settles, I hope uh, – you know, we can all get that shit and, um, you know, bring it on next year. I enjoy racing with Brian. You know, I grew up racing with Brian. He's a few years older than me. But, uh, you know, through the amateur nationals and stuff, he was always like a step ahead of me as far as like classes and stuff. So we spent a lot of time together. I mean, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, that if him and I were going to make it, we would always run up front and uh, battle it out. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll be out there riding on the ice in a couple weeks or, or a couple months possibly and uh, having a good old time, like always. Thank you. I will now open it up to any questions from the media. Right on. All right. Yeah, I had a great race. Um, no, thank you, guys. Uh, you know, right now, uh, the Rogers Racing team is, and Kenny Colbert, Sammy C, we're going to, we're going to go after it again. Um, you know, as far as the other sponsors and stuff, I mean, we got to put some things together. Uh, you know, I only had a lot of one-year deals on some things. So, but I would imagine our plans and our look would be very, very similar. So, you know, it's working really good. We uh, run up front, it seems like, pretty much every weekend. And Kenny Tolbert's really good. Sammy Sweet, I mean, we have, we have a lot of fun when we come racing. We really do. I mean, you know, Sammy, Kenny, them guys are great. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with them, most fun I ever had. Craig, it's whatever we need. Uh, Steve Delaware. We have a, a niche where everybody comes to the racetrack, racing each other and being there at that time. And I've been in other situations where that was the last thing you wanted to do was go racing and see the guy that you were working with or working next to or rider or teammate. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really uh, fortunate to be in the situation I'm in. Are you going to be riding the Harley next year? Or That's the plan. Different brand. That's the plan. Is it? Okay. Jared, what was it like? We had a big gap between the last race and this race. Uh, what, what were your, you know, what were your, uh, what was your attitude? What, what was it like waiting this long for the final race to happen? Man, it was a nail biter. That's for sure. You know. Uh, never been um and i've never had the grand national championship go almost a week before thanksgiving i don't think it's ever went this long and then with calistoga unfortunately getting canceled due to the fires there um you know it made for a big break uh, a lot of preparation you know i put a little short track in but you know as i mentioned the other day i <laughs> it was like backyard racing again i put a little backyard track in the size that uh chris shared uh, the dimensions with everybody and um, you know, my ice racing buddies up there and uh, my buddy Craig Pickett and actually Van Lau came up and 
we were dicing it up and riding. I bet you we made, there was one time I, I had on my little lap timer, I had uh, like 550 laps in one day, two tanks of gas. I mean, <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun preparing for this race. I can say that. But, um, you know, a lot of things run through your head with these little short tracks. And, uh, you know, sometimes it'd get me nervous just thinking sometimes about it. But at the end of the day, it was a lot of fun preparing for it. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm really glad it's over and <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> Describe um, getting get past Sandy then, because he was in second for quite a while. Uh, he was third, yeah. Um, yeah, I, um, the first few laps, uh, I was trying to roll like kind of around the outside of Briar. Then, then here came Joe, and then here came Sammy, and then here came Dominic Calindris, and I'm just like, golly, I got to get down. And uh, finally, I just calmed down and got to the bottom, and uh, got by Calindris, and then got by Sammy, and Sammy kind of was just basically maintaining Joe's pace a little bit. So as I was kind of inching on Sammy, I kind of was inching on the both of them. But when I inched up on Sammy, it was about four or five laps it took me to put it together. I'd run up alongside of him, and he would just get the drive enough. I mean, I probably could have dive bombed it, but <laughs> you know, you just you don't want to uh, you don't want to screw the exit up here. I mean, the track. One thing cool about this track is it changed every time you went on the track, whether. That was what that's cool or not cool in a way it was just it was different every time i mean in our heat race we were like motocross and there was like berms in the corners and we were hitting the berms and then the dash for cash it was smooth but just hard and marbly and hard to get hooked up main event like black holy dry wet so the track kind of threw everything at everybody all day long and uh kind of made it for just being on your toes Uh, I, I felt really good the first couple of laps. Um, I didn't want to look back, but on a track like this with lappers and everything like that, I took a glance at one point and I saw I was going into one, and I just saw blue and yellow going in, uh, coming out of three or four. Sorry. Um, and I, I knew I had the gap, but it seemed like once I looked back, then I started making even more mistakes because you think, oh, I'm okay, you know, I. I'm way out here. I can't do anything wrong. Well, then you start doing a lot of things wrong, and I was hitting holes, and I was hanging off the side of the thing, and, and just making a lot of mistakes. Um, eventually, I slowed down, and it was one of those racetracks where whoever could go the slowest, the fastest, and make the least amount of mistakes was who was going to win, and who got the hole shot, um, for the most part. So, I think to get a good gap right off the bat, like I did, was was really key um, with how the racetrack was. That way. As I learned what the racetrack did as as it changed throughout the race, um, I didn't have the pressure from someone else while I learned. So, yeah, the gap, you know, it was it was nice. I like winning by a lot, but I don't do it very often. So, if I'm going to win, I'd like to do it by a lot. Joe, I have a question. If, if, you know, with the super prestige of dangling in front of you, I assume that was the reason you entered the raceway. Were you planning on entering it otherwise? And uh, now that you, you know, you come in, in a race and. <coughs> Hey, do you want to think maybe I can get back in and do, and do this thing yeah. another year or so? Yeah, for sure the Super Prestige show tomorrow night was something I was shooting for tonight. But uh, it was winter. Winter was the only invite, you know. So anyway, I, I gave it my best there, and I just got to settle with that, you know. But I'd love, to, I'd love to race it tomorrow night for sure. As far as racing next year and in the future now, I'm totally happy. I, I mean, one of the reasons I quit racing was just because of my family and just – what my family means to me. I don't feel like gambling with my life anymore, you know, on a daily basis like these guys do. It's an awesome sport, but at the same time, it's very dangerous out there, on, especially on the bigger tracks. So I'm happy. I'm super happy. I'd, I'd much rather go out, you know, in second place from a race like this and sit out most of the year again and come back and play and here or there at a race. You know, like Jared said, I keep myself in shape and I ride quite a bit still. And I got a little son that races flat track quite a bit. So Every time I throw his bike in the track, I better throw my bike in the track. So he keeps me on my toes and keeps me in shape. And Will we see you uh, at some nationals occasionally next year? Yeah, I mean, I managed the team for a triumph for Brandon Robinson this year. And uh, so I went to every Grand National this year and had a blast doing it, you know, just trying to help out the, the team. But uh, for sure, I'll be at the races next year. I don't, I mean, as, as far as riding now, I mean, I might poke my head in one race. That was my plan this year to, you know, compete at probably a slick technical half miles, kind of my plan. 
but we were going through some bike issues and just trying to work some things out so I really didn't have the opportunity then all of a sudden we come down to the last race of the year and it's indoor in Vegas and I was like oh I don't know if I should do this one but what the heck so that's what threw me here so anyway I'm glad it ended up the way it did but yeah I, you might see me at one race next year but for sure not the full series <clears throat> Well, one last thing. Um, I don't know if anyone sees this or not, but this one, uh, this one was for Jethro Halbert. He uh, yeah. he was an awesome friend, and you could bet, you know, your, all the money you got that he would be out there running with all of us at the front. You know, this was his type of racetrack. He would have been glass smooth, and uh, I rode with him all night. So, this one's for Jethro.